Hello and welcome to Glitchy Kids. Today I'll be taking you through a breakdown of Nick Graphics Edit, which will be done in reference to the Anya Edit linked above. Hi. Let's get into it. Here's a raw clip without any transitions. We'll start working from this. Hi. Add null objects to the first clip and parent them like so. Let's begin with the transitions. In the first scene, we have a zoom transition for the opening of the edit about 150 to 100. Then edit the graph like so. Make a fake zoom by editing the scale and position to focus on the subject of the clip. Then make a zoom out transition. Make sure you edit all the graphs. In the second scene, we don't have an opening transition, so we're going to go with here at the bit. We have a clip that will come and duplicate it and then we'll do a zoom in transition. Animate the position and the scale. Position it so that the heads of the clip align. Animate the opacity of this duplicate, 0 to 100. Then add motion tile or reptile and edit the graphs like so. Make a warp shake by adding the warp effect on an adjustment layer. Set the style to squeeze. You can use any values for the amount, but note that your values should alternate between a positive and a negative value, back and forth up to zero. Link above to get back to this warp shake tutorial.
Now add CC scale wipe to bring about the stretch in the slight transition that will be made. Make the direction 0 and keyframe amount from 0 to 5. Animate the slide transition and make any adjustment if need be. In the third scene, let's just add these null objects first and parent them. Then animate the in transition as a slide, add reptile or motion tile and adjust the settings. Add an adjustment layer and the CC scale wipe effect. Set the direction to 180 and keyframe 5 to 0. Make a fake zoom towards the focal point of the clip. For this clip here, it's Anya. Animate the out transition with a corner slide and a zoom out. These adjust the basic transitions. In the fourth scene, animate the corner slide transition with a zoom out effect. Let's add a rotation to the previous clip and this one in order to liven it up. Just a small rotation, about uh, 5. Add Dissolve Luma to the clip and animate the Dissolve percentage. Then animate the graph and make any other adjustment in the transition in order to make it look good.
Now let's make uh, the glitch effect. A detailed video will be linked above. After that, we go on and do the twitch effect. Add twitch to another adjustment layer and animate the amount from 0 to 50 and back to 0. Then enable slide and light. Mess around with the settings. In the fifth scene, animate the transition, a corner slide with a zoom out, about 150 all the way to 50. Animate the out transition from 100 to 200. Add a warp shape to the clip. Let the warp style be squeeze, the warp axis horizontal, then animate the amount as follows. Negative 15, 10, negative 5, then zero. Link to the tutorial will be above if you need to get back to it. Add reptile or motion tile to the clip. Then you're going to come and copy and paste this warp shake to the next clip. After that, add a white square and animate its scale like this. Then edit the graph. Pre-compose all the clips that will be needed by the square, then place this square above the clip. Set the clip to alpha mat so that only the part under the white shape can be seen. Duplicate the shape layer and make it so that it's just a stroke. Make any other adjustment if necessary. In the sixth scene, do some masking for the transition, then do any adjustment. Let me fix this up, it looks like I messed this part up a bit and I'll get back to you. Not that. For the scenes that come after, just follow along and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. This part includes masking and animating the scale and the position. An interesting way to transition into a clip is to mask into it. And this is seen 
with the scene of Anya with the ball or this little part where we did this other masking like a triangular shape. Dream. I want you to dream